Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can hook up a Google Nest Home Mini up to your Xbox One. Also in this video, I'm going to be unboxing it for you, and I'll show you how to initially set it up. By the end of this video, your Google Nest Home Mini will be connected to your Xbox, and you'll be able to do things like turn it on and off and turn it up and down hands-free. Also opening any application with a command. So let's get started. So let's unbox this Nest Mini. So what you get inside the box, you get the Google Nest Mini itself, you get the power cable, and you get the instruction manual with some other company information. Just a reminder if you didn't know already, there's so much cool things that you can do with the Google Nest Home Mini, like turning on the lights, playing music, and setting reminders. But the main focus of this video is connecting your Google Nest Home Mini to your Xbox. So let's initially set up the Google Nest Home Mini now. So first thing you want to do if you haven't already, to download the Google Home app. Now since you've opened up the app, what you want to do is press Set Up Device, and then press Set Up New Device. You can name it whatever you want, but I named it as home and I've already registered it. So now we'll say looking for devices. And then in a little bit, it should come up with Google Nest Mini and then a certain number at the end. So it's found the Google Nest Mini and now you just wanna press connect. Now the Google Nest Mini is gonna make a sound just to verify that this is the Google Nest Mini you're trying to connect to. And now it's just going to take you through another process with legal terms and asking where this device is being set up at. So just select whichever place you're going to be putting it at. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you the last part because it was just connecting to the Wi-Fi. So what you want to do, you just want to select which Wi-Fi is yours and put in your password. So the next part is just a process where it's asking what your preferences are and if you want to connect to like the calendar, or Spotify, or YouTube Premium or stuff like that. But I was just going to do it all later, but you can do it now or later. It's just your decision. But if you're just trying to set it up just to get used to it at first, I would just recommend skipping this whole process by just pressing no thanks, no thanks, no thanks to all of them. Now your Google Nest Mini should be all set up and ready to go. So let's get on with the initial setup of the Xbox. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go to the Google Home app and press connect to Microsoft Xbox. And now a loading screen will appear and then it will ask you to log into your Microsoft account that's connected to your Xbox. After you log in, what you want to do, it will take you to this page. You just scroll to the bottom and press yes. And now there will be a pop-up that says account has been successfully linked. After you've linked up the Google Home Mini with your Xbox, you're going to want to wait about 10 to 15 minutes for it to kind of like register in their system. After you've done that, you want to turn on your Xbox and then you want to go to your settings. After that, you want to go down to devices and streaming and press digital assistant and make sure the box is checked. Now that it's set up, you can say something like, Hey Google, open Rocket League on the Xbox. Okay, launching on Xbox. There's also other commands that you can tell, like, Hey Google, launch YouTube on my Xbox. Sure, launching YouTube on Xbox. If you want to turn on your Xbox, what you want to do is say, Hey Google, turn on the Xbox. Sure, turning on Xbox. And then if you want to turn it off, you want to say, Hey Google, turn off the Xbox. Okay, turning Xbox off. You can watch YouTube videos on the Xbox with Google Nest Mini by saying, Hey Google, launch YouTube on my Xbox. Okay, launching YouTube on Xbox. After YouTube is launched, you're going to have to use your controller to pick out and search for certain videos that you want to watch because unfortunately you can't voice search. 
You can pause and play YouTube videos by asking Google to play and pause them like this. Hey Google, play. I've got some awesome animals. There's Maverick and... Hey Google, pause the video. All kinds of animals. It's really exciting. Do you want to meet your first one? Yep. Unfortunately, you cannot turn the volume up or turn the volume down with voice activation. You're going to have to do that straight from a remote. Because if you do that, I'll show you what happens. Hey Google, volume down on the Xbox. You get a little pop-up on the side. I've tried to go into the settings and fix that, but unfortunately I cannot fix it. I don't know if it's just mine or if it will happen to all of them. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't, please subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on more great content. So we'll see you in the next video.